We're here with Timmy Kellogg, the number one who came in here for the semi-pro stock. So out there is a pretty nice sunny day. Uh, what were your issues? Do you have like any real, like, was it kind of rough out there in the course or was it clear or good to go? Uh, it was clear to go, pretty rough. Bent the spindle, steel's all out of whack. Uh, it was sketchy. What parts of it like really like, you know, kind of sketchy along like those roads? Oh, uh, the hard drifts. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely did see, you know, there was definitely like a good motion of uh, people kind of coming through. Like, did you do anything different with your skis than you did yesterday, a pause uh, going on with today? No. 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 Are you planning on rigging anything different? I mean, next weekend we're looking at going the I-600 really is a test of endurance. Like, do you have any plans or anything they're going to do different to your sled? Uh, I guess just put a new spindle on and throw a new pair of skis and hopefully it works. Well, I hope so too. I mean, at least it worked for you this time around, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. So are you excited for it? Yeah. Wish there was more snow, but it'll be fun. Well, I think we all are kind of wishing for a little bit more snow. We have maybe a couple weeks. We'll have to see what's uh, in our forecast, you know. But uh, up there in Canada, I hope we'll have like, a little bit more fresh powder, at least up more in the north. So, other than that, who are you riding for this whole entire season? Ah, uh, Scudo. Anyone else you really want to thank that helps support you? I think you have a couple other people here in this rig you'd like to say hi to. Ah, uh, my dad, uh, Woody's, Scudo, Tom Lawrence, uh, Rye Logic. Like everybody else, I guess. Yeah, all right. Well, they're the ones that make it happy. Well, again, like, congratulations and, uh, you know, winning number one. Hopefully, we'll see you next weekend or the following weekend, I should say, again on the podium again. Yeah, hopefully. We're here with Dan Reverie, who came in number two for the semi pro stock races. So, out there is a pretty sunny day. Yeah, it was beautiful. It's nice when you have sun. Yeah, no, no one really complained about visibility out there, really. Nope, not today. It was a lot better than yesterday, so yeah, it was good. All right, some were complaining a little bit that, you know, it's a little icy, really rough. Did you feel that same, or did you feel it was smooth? Yeah, you know, it got a little bumpy in spots, but you just got to embrace the track and figure out how to ride through it the smoothest you can, and uh, that's how you get on the podium, so. Did you do anything, like, different between yesterday and today on your sled? Uh, a couple minor adjustments for the high-speed bumps, but other than that, just uh, figure out how to ride a little bit better through it, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. A couple minor so. Well, yeah, you always gotta do like some little things. Yeah, right? a little bit here and there. So for the I six hundred, you know, that's gonna be a, you know really a test of endurance. It's a pretty long race. I yeah, mean, four start, days. Yeah, we looked at the map. Are you gonna do anything different to your sled? You know, not too much. Just kind of maybe put a little toolkit in there, just in case I do need some changes. Other than that, just uh, try and ride to finish. You know, it's four long days, so you gotta get through every day and uh, finish to place. So yeah, I'll try and just finish. Well, absolutely. Definitely a test of endurance. Do you have any tips or any kind of a game plan you're thinking of? Yeah, uh, try and maybe use my whole body a little bit more instead of wearing my arms out. And uh, that's probably the biggest thing, yeah. Just try and survive and try not to wear myself out too much. All right, well, Hayford Ford's having a pretty good deal. You put the stickers on the side of the end. Are you going to take advantage of that? Because that's yeah. the one I think it's going to come in pretty handy, right? Yeah, absolutely. you got to thank Hayford Ford for doing that. You know, if you get first place, $300 for contingency. So, yeah gonna definitely put some stickers on there so thanks Jeff <laughs> all right sounds good all right so hopefully next weekend we see you get at the podium hopefully at number one with your $300 check yeah and uh, an I I600 uh, W that'd be awesome but the podium would be just as good so yeah it'll be fun all right we're here with Garrett Granduleski the uh, top one of the top racers of the semi pros here at this race but before we get to it I just want to get a really good shot of these pants right here so can we just first talk about like what what happened here with this hole? Well, I came over approach. It was like a double approach, and I was trying to get around someone, and I hit a bank, and it just I lost control, and it just I landed on my butt. And yeah. So. Well, I mean, were you cold at all? I mean, because it's pretty chilly outside. They got the wind. I just wonder. I just. Oh uh, yeah, awesome. my butt did get kind of cold. <laughs> but you still came as number three. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. So he fell, fell off the sled, all that, and you still, you still were there at the podium. That's pretty good, right? So just talking about the course out there. You know, it's a nice, bright, sunny day. As we, you know, keep on saying. Really, like, what other issues do you have? Would you find it to be like a rough course at all? Oh uh, yeah, it was pretty rough. We had some troubles with swapping out at high speeds, but um, other than that, it was an awesome course, and I don't mind the rough. So yeah, it was good. Definitely. Did you uh, do anything different between Saturday and Sunday here for the final day? Um, no. You just definitely gotta stay focused and keep your head up and 
keep on chugging along. So. We'll keep talking about like staying focused. Uh, at least for us, we're taking next weekend off, and then following that, we have the I-600, which is really like a test of endurance. Uh, what is your game plan for that? Um, just test all next week and get ready, get the sled ready to roll, get ready mentally and physically. And yeah, definitely. I want to know is like how you guys keep doing it. You know, with all those like pit stops. I mean, I would get kind of hungry at least once in water along the way, and you guys are just going straight through it. Yeah, it, it gets kind of tiring, but this is what I like to do, so we just do it. Well, absolutely. Okay, so who is it that you're riding for uh, this weekend and all throughout the season? Uh, for Articat, racing for Articat, Mike Coletti, and yeah. Anyone else? You want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for all. I wouldn't be here without them. And uh, Gown Construction, Gateway Truck Sales, and um, Custom Stripes. Um, just and everyone else that would help us out. Well, you definitely have a very loving uh, support team in the back. I know you guys can't all see them, but this rig is pretty full. So I, yeah. I definitely say you got some fan support here. Yeah. All right, well, good luck, and we hope to see you again next weekend or the following weekend on there at the podium for the I-600, same place. Until then, we'll see you soon.